Test Studio by Progress. Built with our patented Art of Test framework and Fiddler Core. In this episode, Dynamic Fine Logic for Complex Grid Automation. In this session, you will learn how to locate and edit a specific row of a dynamic grid. We'll start by adding a new test. Hit record and select which browser you want to record from. Enter the URL and click start recording to begin creating your test. In this example, we'll be using a Kendo UI inline editing grid that you can access from the link below. Now we're in a live record mode. First, we will click the edit button for the aniseed syrup row and we'll update the unit price. Next, click update to save the changes. Next, we'll toggle on the element highlighter and add a verification to make sure the edit button shows up again after completing the price update. The element highlighter lets you quickly add verifications and wait steps against the element you choose or even extract data from the live UI to use to data drive other test steps. Now we're going to add a new record to the grid to test our logic for the edit button. This process doesn't have to be recorded within the test and you can pause the recorder if you don't want to capture it. Now we'll go back to Test Studio and execute those recorded steps that clicks the edit button for the antecedent row and the verifications. You can easily accomplish this by using Shift plus Select to select a group of steps. Right click and choose Run Selected Steps. Save your work as you go. the steps execute against the live UI within the recording browser. And this time it updates the incorrect row. We had a failure at step eight. This is due to position-based logic and this can also yield false positives. Double click the red X to view the failure details. The test failed since the element position has changed. By double clicking the red X next to the failing step, you can view the step failure details. This includes a summary of the step failure, as well as images that show the expected state does not match the failed state screenshots. The incorrect row was edited due to the new record that was added. With Test Studio's flexible fine logic, we can modify the edit link element to dynamically locate the correct row every time even when the grid is sorted or filtered, or when a new record is added. To do this, first select the Click Edit Link Test Step. This will automatically select the corresponding element from the Element Repository. Next, right-click the Edit Link element, and then click the Edit in Live option. The Find Element window opens, allowing you the ability to edit the element against the live UI. Currently, the element find logic is using a chained find expression with a parent-child relationship. This results in locating the grid by its ID, then a cell by its position using tag index. This is why some steps are able to pass since there was an edit button present, just the incorrect one. During the test execution, the Chang edit button was clicked instead of the aniseed syrups edit button. To correct this, we will create a fine logic strategy that will locate the correct row no matter the position within the grid. First, click the DOM tab within the find element window. Next, 
click the Validate button to traverse the DOM to the target element. The Edit button within the grid cell is located. Now select the parent row, or TR, of the target cell. As you make selections from the DOM tab, you will also see the element highlighter highlighting the corresponding element on the live UI. Next, right click the row or TR level and click the replace element option. This will update the find logic to now locate the entire row instead of the cell. Next, click back to the suggestions tab on the find element window. This displays all of the attributes and their values that Test Studio was able to locate. When working with dynamic grids, using the inner text of a row will give you all of the cell values together to locate the row by its content. Click on inner text to add it into the find logic strategy. Also, select the tag name attribute, which specifies that we are looking for a row, or TR. Now, float over the HTML path filter. And click the X to delete this filter. Now, our find logic will locate the Chang row by the content of the row, no matter which position it's in. However, if any of the cells change within the row, then it will fail to locate it. We can eliminate the dynamic content of the row and use a contains operator instead of is exactly on the row's inner text. Now click validate to run this logic against the live UI and again the row is being located and highlighted. We now have a valid way to locate a specific row within a dynamic grid based on the reliable unique data of the row. We can easily modify the inner text value to find a different row, and in a later session you'll be able to data drive this to create a powerful, dynamic find logic loop to iterate through multiple records of the grid. Next, click Validate again to make sure the new row is located successfully. The new row is located, and the suggestions are returned as well and the row is being highlighted on the recording browser as well. Now that we have a reliable way to locate the row, we then add the child of the row by clicking the blue arrow. This is the cell level filter, which we will use text content to locate. You can manually type in the value of edit and click validate to see if anything can be located. Now the edit button corresponding to the aniseed syrup row is being located and the edit button is being highlighted on the recording browser. Now click save to update the element with the new find logic. If the same element is being used by multiple tests and or multiple steps, you'll be able to choose which tests and steps you would like to update. Now that we've corrected the find logic, we can try executing this group of steps again using run from here. Here's a pro tip. Enable annotation during playback to better inspect the execution and see the elements highlighted along the way. Right click the edit link step and select run from here. This will execute the remainder of the test starting at step two. Now the test is passing correctly. Keep in mind that you can apply these same principles of Test Studio to many different situations. Thank you for watching and happy testing.